Hello, this is from uh, Home Group E and we will be explaining the ECG2 filtering. To start, I will briefly explain uh, about the code instructions and then uh, demo the code. So starting by uh, the first line, which, is, which will uh, transform to the frequency domain. So we are given an ECG signal in time domain. So we transfer it to frequency domain and assign it to ECG underscore frequency. And the second line will uh, will uh, will be used to filter ECG signal using low pass filter. So this is HLB uh, using the the filter builder from the toolbox. So uh, the filter designed was um, IIR Chebyshev type one filter, low pass filter. Uh, and then uh, this is to transfer the filtered signal to the frequency domain. All right, so we have the subplot uh, instructions which will uh, which will show the signals in a single uh, frame. Okay, so uh, the first one will uh, plot the original signal. So this will plot the original signal. We have the second one will plot the original signal in frequency domain. We have the third one will plot the filtered signal in time domain. So this is the original, and this will will plot will plot the filtered signal. We have the, the, the last subplot instruction will plot the uh, filtered signal in frequency domain. All right. Now we have uh, the instructions below, which will show the frequency component, uh, the pole zeros, uh, the uh, impulse response, and the magnitude, and so on. All right. That uh, being said, I will run the code and demo. Okay, so as shown here on the top uh, left, this is the raw ECG signal given, uh, downloaded from e-learning, and this is the filtered ECG signal. We can see the noise within the signal as, as we can see here uh, in time domain, and this is the filtered signal in time domain. Uh, in uh, frequency domain, we can see these two uh, signals or these two these represent the noise the signal and it is filtered out as shown here so going to parameters so this is the magnitude response uh, and this is this show the low pass filter so the signal within this region will be passed or will pass and this one will be removed right so uh, we have also, uh, this is the pole and zeros plot. This is the magnitude response uh, and phase response. Uh, I can also um, display it in decibels. Right, this is the magnitude in uh, dB. And this is our uh, impulse response. All right, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to explain um, how to create a frequency spectrum on the ECG signal given. So the first part here is the loading part where we would load the ECG to MATLAB files given. So we would initialize the sample space, the size, and then of course we have to label it uh, and then put in the title which is frequency spectrum of ECG signal 2 and we use subplot to make sure it will be plotted in the correct manner so the second part here would be um, to initialize on the uh, filters transfer function so first we can see that the uh, 50 Hertz is for the cutoff frequency so after some changes on the coding and parameters we can obtain H which is the filters transfer function so here I use bilinear transformation method and then same thing we're gonna use the subplot and then label it and uh, put in the title which is um, the frequency spectrum of six order filter so the third part would be um, generating uh, the signal in frequency domain by using convolution method 
so D is actually our signal so we want to convo convolute convolute the um, original signal and the filter signal so we can see the response once it's it's plotted so uh, also we have to label it by using X label and give it the title so next is uh, after uh, all that we in case we want to check whether it's uh, everything is correct we do uh, an inverse Z transform to convert back D into uh, into time domain the signal will be in the time domain so it will be like in the original um, plotted signal I mean like not in the frequency spectrum form it's actually in the time domain form okay so that's all uh, from me thank you very much